Okay, we're going to solve the following linear differential equation given as dp over dt, or the first derivative of p, plus 2tp equals p plus 4t minus 2. And with this technique, we're going to use an integration factor. In order to do that, we need to put p on the other side from found on the right and put it on the left, and that's using algebra. So that's just dp over dt plus 2t subtracting p from both sides and factoring out the p is 2t minus 1 times p equals 4t minus 2. So here when we form the integration factor we use this term to form e to the 2t minus 1 dt which is just equal to e to the t squared that's the first term when you integrate 2t integrate minus 1 that leaves minus t so that's our integration factor we use this integration factor to form the formula form the following expression e to the t squared again our integration factor minus t times our dependent variable p now we do this is because when you take the derivative with respect to time with this expression in brackets we get this expression, our differential, multiplied by the integration factor e to the t squared minus t. So if I take this expression, multiply by e t squared minus t, this expression is on the left side when we perform this operation right here, d t t and the ones in brackets. Now we need to do the same thing on the right side, which is just 4t minus 2 and then we multiply this by the integration factor e to the t squared minus t. Now we multiply dt on both sides and we integrate on both sides. Now the one on the left is very easy because the integral cancels out with this differential so we just write the expression in the brackets e to the t squared minus t times p. Now we have to do the expression the integral on the right. We'll factor out 2 first. So that leaves 2t minus 1 e to the t squared minus t dt. Now we have to do a change of variables to do this integral. So we'll let u be a variable and that's we're going to set that equal to e to the t squared minus t. Let's take the derivative differential on both sides so that leaves du and the beauty of the exponential is just the same expression and then we have to take the derivative with res in the exponent with respect to t in this case. So this will just be e to the t squared the same thing and then take the derivative of the exponent which is just 2t minus 1 okay and then we multiply this by by dt so that's our du okay so that's our du but we note that in here inside the integral is our du Okay, so we can set that equal to to the integral of u, I mean uh, du, and that's just 2 to the u plus c, our integration constant. So here, in our expression, we have e to the t squared minus t on the left side again is equal to 2u plus C. Now to get rid of this isolate p on one side, we get rid of the e to the t squared minus t by dividing on both sides with that, and so that leaves p e to the 2, but we substitute u, which is just e to the t squared minus t, and then we're dividing it by e to the t squared minus t plus c1 c again 
plus c divided by e to the, but that's just e to the minus t squared minus t. Well, we see here that these terms cancel out, and that yields finally 2 plus c minus t squared minus t as our expression where we have e and then a c here. Okay? Now we can rewrite this here or as 2 plus c, get rid of the minus sign if you want, e to the t minus t squared. We just reverse the positions of this because of the minus sign. So this is our expression and solution to this differential equation shown here. Oops. Two and our expression is here. Differential equation and our solution is here. Which is our P. So P is equal to two plus C e to the T minus T squared. And that's the solution to this expression.